Hello everyone, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth of Sleep. Last episode we started off in the land of departure, did a command war because that is apparently what we do now. And in today's episode we're gonna go into the castle of dreams, the first real world as Aqua, which actually starts the moment Terra leaves, so we can go clean up his mass. That's pretty much what this entire campaign is, it's just cleaning up the mass Terra makes in all the worlds he visits. And sometimes chasing after Ventus as well, but mostly dealing with Terra's like, being, like, the most incapable person ever. Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Hmm? Aqua! Terra! Terra, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Huh. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light. All I Hold can on. tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. First of all, there is a princess of hearts here. So I'll stay and what see the if fuck? I can find more clues. Second of all, okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Surely Cinderella is a princess of hearts, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she must be. You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. He'll be all right. He won't give into it. Uh, I don't know about that. So, Terrell went to the entirety of the Enchanted Dominion. And then did the entirety of this world before Aqua even got here. I know, like, time dilation is a thing, but that is... Th that's a lot. I, I do think there is uh, a timeline in the main menu where you can see you get barrier surge this early on as arc. What? Because that's a pretty good move. That is. That, that is like fire surge, but specifically like it's. I don't know. I don't think it's an elemental attack, but as such, it might have a higher base power. Something like that. Uh, it's a real good command. Like. I remember using Barrier Surge instead of Fire Surge as Aqua in one of my playthroughs at some point. Maybe just because it was easy to get and it felt a lot like Fire Surge, but without the boost it's not as good and I didn't realize that. But I feel like we just got a real good command very early in the game. Who are those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. Ha! She has blue hair! Yes, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by Are you really so shallow that everything with boobs looks alike? To find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will. Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found She's not even wearing a dress. Mary. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine. I'd better pay her a visit. That sounds ominous. So yeah, that makes 
less than zero cents, I'd argue. You came back. What what kind of weird ass line is that? That's just a reason to get him into the scene. And they didn't even need a reason to get him into the Okay, so just look at this, right? Okay, that didn't do as much damage, but nothing was really doing any damage because I am level one. <laughs> I forgot about that for a moment. Oh yeah, Spellweaver. Spellweaver is real good. It's uh maybe not as good in Birth by Sleep compared to what it's like in uh 0 0.2 and Specifically Kingdom Hearts. Well, 0 0.2 is where you use it most. Uh, you can also use it in 3, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I don't really remember that much about it because it's been a while since I've played either of those games. I am planning to at least play uh, 0 0.2 after completing Birth by Sleep because I feel like, from a story perspective, 0 0.2 like, fits very well after just having played Birth by Sleep. Uh, that will be a while though, and I am not entirely sure what we're going to do with the Birth by Sleep Let's Play. Uh, what we're going to do after the Birth by Sleep Let's Play. Uh, like, things to do with Melody Memories. Uh, we'll be streaming that over on Twitch. Well, way before we end this series, I think. Well, uh, maybe not way before, because... So far we've done 11 episodes of Story, which is about, like, a month. And then if we do the, like, the secret episode, it's literally just one boss fight against Terra, uh, Terra Nords. So that's probably 12 episodes. And then there might be, like, one or two episodes. Let's say another two episodes. So it's going to be 13 episodes for the Aqua series. That might actually line up fairly well with when Melody of Memories will be released. Meaning that maybe... The upload, uh, the upload slot for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep is just going to be Melody of Memories. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the future, probably, uh, because we're also going to be doing Crash Bandicoot uh, live stream and then upload onto the channel as well. Uh, when that releases in a well, fairly short amount of time, actually. By the time you're watching this, we, we might actually like only be a day or two away from that release. And I'll probably be doing a video every six hours during that. Which means that there's going to be your normal Let's Play part and then three bonus uploads a day. Uh, just to make sure that I get all of the content up quickly. Uh, but not that quickly to the point where I upload like two videos an hour like some YouTubers do on a day one Let's Play. Uh, why I am doing so many uploads is because I'm going to be splitting at least the Crash Bandicoot videos into a per level basis as far as I can do that anyway. And I'm kind of planning to do the same with Melody of Memories depending on how the, like, the gameplay loop and the length of any given world is. That was horrible. Uh, I feel like, I think there's going to be like 50 some worlds in total or, or like levels in total. I think I, I read in an interview, or I heard in an interview, because I, I don't read. So, I, I think... Doing that, like, one level per episode also fits. And it'll also probably be the same upload schedule as Crash Bandicoot, but... If it lines up very well with the end of the Aqua story anyway, uh, on the days where I usually have a Birth by Sleep episode, It'll probably just be four episodes of uh, Melody of Memories, is what I'm thinking. We'll see that when we come to that. I don't know how the timelines for that are going to line necessarily, because I haven't really looked at the um, the date for that yet, but I feel like it's probably going to line up very, very well, now that I think about it a little bit more uh, clearly. So that might actually end up being uh, very nice. And then maybe after Melody of Memories we can do 0.2? depending on if I feel like it at that point. Or maybe I'll just ignore the idea of doing 0.2 and we'll go into doing another Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer. Because or the Aqua mod, depending on how far along that is at that point. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe randomizer because I've actually gotten a comment on uh, one of the randomizer videos linking me to a more recently uh, made and still in development uh, randomizer uh, program, which seems to be like a lot more stable as well, from what I can tell. Uh, it says every seed it generates should be playable. So 
I'm thinking they actually have like certain checks in place to make sure that you don't get impossible um, impossible combinations like I did with the original Let's Play I did. And maybe we can do that uh, like four episodes a week instead of one episode a week uh, if we do that. So we'll do the the usual like Tuesday, what is it? Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then Sunday for the for the Kingdom Hearts series. Uh, that way or something, I, I I don't know honestly for sure. That's all just like ideas I have at this point. Uh, that's like at least two months away uh, though, so <laughs> it'll it'll be a while. I'm saying two months. It's more like. Well, by the time we actually finish Melody of Memories, it'll probably be two months. Because Melody of Memories is about a month and a half away. If I'm uploading, like, three videos of that a day, uh, and four videos of that a day, for three days a week, that's like... Okay, so let's do the math a little bit differently, because that, that, that's a very confusing way to put it. Uh, I'm doing three videos of that a day, that's 21 a week, and I'm also- OH MY FUCK! I'm also doing uh, three, like, extra uploads, so that's 24 a week, which means that in like two, maybe three weeks, we should have Melody of Memory Story Mode entirely uploaded. Which, uh, seems about fair. Again, that is quite a while, but I- I wanna prevent myself from being that YouTuber which uploads the entire game uh, like, in separate episodes, the day it's released. You either do, like, a long play where you upload the entire game in, like, one or two videos, or you spread them out a little bit more. And I think from a, like, SEO perspective, it makes a lot more sense to do them on a per-level basis because people uh, will be more easily able to find exactly what they're looking for. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that for Crash Bandicoot anyway. Um, I'll probably be doing it for uh, both games. I think Crash Bandicoot specifically, uh, people will be looking more towards specific levels. Kingdom Hearts maybe as well. Uh, the bosses specifically will probably be the videos that do most uh, the most views in that series. I'm I'm expecting because obviously people won't necessarily be looking for the worlds that much. But they'll probably be looking more so for the boss fights, uh, which I'll also be putting up as separate episodes, probably, because as far as I can tell, the boss fights are like entirely separate worlds levels. I think they're called Dark Halls or something like that in, in the game. So it's very exciting. Again, uh, it, it's mostly going to be me failing. And the entire journey will also be broadcasted live on my Twitch channel, which... Uh, go join the Discord if you want to keep up to date with, uh, with me on Twitch. I don't generally use Twitch that much, but for things like this, it's, it's nice. We also do like things like giveaways and shit. It's a real good place to just hang out. <laughs> my Discord. It's always linked down below in every description. I think there's also a link on the YouTube channel page itself. So uh, do go ahead and join that. Let's see our first Moogle shop, because we gonna be needing some fire. Okay, that is disappointing. We don't have fire yet. Okay, um, so then where do we go? I think we have to go into, but yeah. I think we have to go into the house, even though it doesn't show you that you can go into the house because it triggers a cutscene. But uh, that's uh, not a very useful item for me. Huh. Did I skip any cutscenes? I feel like I did. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! It's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Wait, what? Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe the dreams come true. You're just... Then I'm honored. 
But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Because she's the master of masters. The of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join little Jacques and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help Jacques. Come back and I think see Aqua got her own magic cover, don't worry. That's kind of like her thing, is magic. So, uh, Fairy Godmother is Master of Masters. What do you guys think about that theory? Because I literally just came up with it, and it sounds just as plausible as anything that ever has happened in the Kingdom Hearts universe, because Nomura is batshit insane! Oh, it's gonna be an escort mission. I forgot about this. That's gonna be bothersome. That was gonna be real Are annoying. Start the escort mission. It's all right. Leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. You have a key, blade. It opens any fucking keyhole, even metaphysical ones, but also just straight up normal physical ones. So you don't even need that key. Is a thing. So just throw it away. Just ignore it. I hope that after this world we can actually start buying fires because I, I I need fire. I need a lot of fire. And anti-gravity. But mostly I need fire because the moment I have fire up, I can start working towards at least getting one of the mind spells, which are probably some of the best spells in the game, period. But it also is a, a important part of getting Seeker Mine, which is obviously our end goal here today. Uh, you guys are damaging my friend. Uh, do not do that, please. Is this what- is this where we get- I don't think this is where we get a counter move quite yet. If it is, that's real early. Which would be good, because I I've gotten used to being able to counter. Mostly as Terra, which has been a while, admittedly, but still, it'd be real nice if you would allow me to fuck. That too, that's, that's not what I meant, but it does hold true. Um, is this it? I think this is just it. That was a very easy escort mission, I'm gonna be honest with you. And that gives me thunderbolts. Ha! Huh. You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on, hurry, Jack. Oh, 
Would it, uh, would it be all right if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. It took him a minute to realize, so who the fuck knows? I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? I've been investigating this uh, voice actress doing multiple uh, different characters, and you really sound a lot like Maleficent. That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. She got boobs. You she got the thing. First. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. Oh. Yes, sneaky. <laughs> That was also a sneaky. Uh, <laughs> what will I do? Please don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. Okay, so my issue with that is who says those are like from the same set? It's just another glass slipper. As a matter of fact, this lady here has been trying to con like one of her daughters. This could be part Nothing of her said. conspiracy. Inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair. She's a scullery maid. Mother, are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. What's that? What happened? Where is Cinderella? Dad. She was attacked by a, a creature, a monster in the forest. A monster? Okay. We're gonna have to go through this without having any like proper commands, can we? As uh, worth a check. But burial surge we can already buy. So if we just want to spend a lot of money on getting a deck of burial surges. We could very well do that. <laughs> this is what happens when you go against my wishes. And then they just kind of blow up. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. No, they just blew up. Nothing to do with darkness. They, they literally just blew up. Which is kind of disturbing. This fight... I mean... I remember it being difficult. But I don't think it was that difficult as Ventus, so uh, who the fuck knows at this point. That being said, maybe because our Shadowlock isn't fire-based and this is still a plan, and I, I think in Pokemon logic... This, this might be more difficult as Aqua. Maybe not. Also, Bubble Blaster definitely is one of the... Oh! Okay. Um, it, it is one of the spammy ones, I, I'm fairly sure. We, ju we just haven't gotten a 15 lock since we got a level 2 on it. But I'm fairly certain it is one of the spam, uh, spam ones. So... Or button mashing, I should say, not spam. Let me focus you for a moment. At least we got Spellweaver, which is potentially good. You don't even try to attack me. Thank you. Wait, is that specifically something I can counter because it's this boss? 
Or is that something to do with spell over? I guess we'll find out in a moment, but uh Oh, get me as much of this as possible so I can get back to spell <laughs> weaver. Please, 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 please. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's it's a spammy one. It's a spammy one. It's a very spammy one. No. Blizzard. Quick, no. Fuck! We got so close. We okay. We literally. That's the issue. We got so close. We got way too close. We need to stay further away. Which, if we had fire, I'm just saying, if we had fire magic, that would be helpful. It does say you uh, you probably want to use block as much as you can. So let's actually use that. That was a bit of a waste. And I'm dead. I'll also start working towards getting second chance once more and leave Bracer as soon as I can. I haven't looked up the easiest recipes for those, uh, but I'm fairly certain those are fairly easy to get, I think. Like Fire Agar and Blaze Agar and then like Errora or something to get those, which is not that difficult. It's just not within my my sphere of obtainability at the moment necessarily but uh not necessarily difficult either okay so turnover oh turnover that is oh that, that that is good times for me isn't it because you can't do shit please don't attack me please do not attack me yet that was great timing Okay, got 15 hits in already, and I might be in a little bit of trouble here in a moment. I was not. That's good. I need to turn you over again, because that did wonders for me. If I can turn you over... Oh, actually, this is where I use that turnover thing. So let's do that. And it didn't work, but I can spell Weaver, which will do a lot of damage against you and give me some HP back because of your minions dying. Don't. 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 Just, just don't. Okay, what are you doing? We're, we're getting close. This time, we're going to turn you over. There we go. Okay, I think we got this. I think we very, very got this. Barrier Surge. We're so close to got, having got this. I think we got this. I think we won. This should be able to at least... Nope. It got him close. It got him close to death, which is something, I guess. When he stops, barrier surge. No! No, 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 no. Yes! Okay, deck capacity increased, and we got some extra HP. Next episode, we're going to be taking on Maleficent. Oh, that's a bitch-ass boss fight. We'll probably need to grind for that, honestly. You recognize her without a dress, but you couldn't tell the difference between the blonde hair and the blue hair. Do you see, like, alphabetically? Is that what, what the issue is here? Because that's the only explanation I can come up with. A pure heart filled with light? It's strange. The Master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how, if not with light? Oh, my dear, you're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just she is the master. She is the master. She is the master of masters. <laughs> That's an answer the master of masters would give. That's my new theory. Fuck the idea that Sora is the master of masters. Fuck the idea that it's Damex. Fuck the idea that it's... Anybody else, really. The master of masters is a fairy godmother. Confirmed. You can't change my mind.
Next episode, we'll be going into the Enchanted Dominion. Until then, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video, or are we going into the Dwarf Woodlands first, actually? I don't know. We'll be figuring that out next episode. I think Enchanted Dominion. We'll see next episode. Bye.